So these stories of mythology are simply trying to express a truth that can't be grasp any other way. It's the edge, the interface between what can be known and what is never to be discovered because it is a mystery transcendent of all human research. The source of life. What, what is it? No one knows. Why are stories important for getting at that? Well, I think it's, it's important to live life with a knowledge of it's mystery and of your own mystery and it gives life a, a new zest, a new balance, a new harmony to do this. I mean, it's therapy and psychological therapy when people find out what it is that's ticking in them they get straightened out and uh, what is it that life is. I find thinking in mythological terms uh, has helped people I'm visibly, you can see it happen. How? What does it do? It, it uh, erases anxieties. It puts them in accord with the inevitables of their life. Uh, and, and they can see the, uh, the positive values of what are the negative aspects of what is positive. It's, uh, it's, it's whether you're going to say no to the serpent or yes to the serpent, as easy as that. No to the adventure? Yeah, the adventure of being alive, of living. When I was growing up, tales of King Arthur, tales of the medieval knights, tales of the dragon slayers were very strong in my world. Uh, dragons represent greed, really. The European dragon guards things in his cave, and what he guards are heaps of gold and virgins. And he can't make use of either of them, but he just guards. There's no vitality of experience, either of the value of the gold or of the female whom he's guarding there. Psychologically, the dragon is one's own binding of oneself to one's ego, and you're captured in your own dragon cage. And uh, the problem of the psychiatrist is to break that dragon, open him up, so that you can have a larger field of uh, relationships. Jung had a patient come to him who felt alone, and she drew a picture of herself as uh, caught in the rocks. From the waist down, she was bound in rocks. And this was on a windy shore, and the wind blowing, and her hair blowing. And all the gold, which is the sign of the vitality of life, was locked in the rocks. And the next picture that he had her draw had followed something he had said to her. Suddenly, uh, a lightning flash hit the rocks and the gold came pouring out and then she found reflected on rocks round about the gold and there was no more gold in the rocks it was all available on the top and in the conferences that followed those patches of gold were identified they were her friends she wasn't alone but she had locked herself in her own little room and life, but she had friends. Do, do you see what I'm meaning? Was... This is killing the dragon. And uh, you have fears and things. Uh, this is the dragon. That's exactly what that's all about. At least the European dragon. Chinese dragon is different. What is it? It represents the vitality of the swamps, and the dragon comes out beating his belly and saying, ha, 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 ha. You know, that's another kind of dragon. And uh, he's the one that yields the bounty and the waters and all that kind of thing. He's the great, glorious thing. But this is the negative one that cuts it out. So what you're saying is if there are not dragons out there, and there may not the, be any... The real dragon is in you. And what is that real dragon? That's your ego holding you in. What's my ego? What I want, what I believe, what I can do, what I uh, think I love, and all that. 
what I regard as the aim of my life and so forth, it might be too small. It might be that which pins you down. And if it's simply that of doing what the environment tells you to do, it certainly is pinning you down. And so the environment is your dragon as it reflects within yourself. How do I slay? How do you slay that dragon in me? What's the journey I have to make? You have to make. Each of us has to make. You talk about something called a soul's high adventure. My general formula for my students is follow your bliss. I mean, find where it is and don't be afraid to, to follow it. Can my bliss be my life? So well, love or my it life's will be work? Your is life. it my work or my life? Well, if the work that you're doing is the work that you chose to do because you are enjoying it, that's it. But if you think, oh, gee, I couldn't do that, you know, that's your dragon that's locking you in. Oh, no, I couldn't be a writer. Oh, no, I couldn't do what so-and-so is doing. Unlike the classical heroes, we're not going on our journey to save the world, but to save ourselves. And in doing that, you save the world. I mean, you do. The influence of a vital person it vitalizes. There's no doubt about it. It, it, it. The world is a wasteland. People have the notion of saving the world by uh, shifting it around and changing the rules and so forth. And no, any world is a living world if it's alive. And the thing is to bring it to life. And the way to bring it to life is to find in your own case where your life is and be alive yourself, it seems to me. Do you say I have to take that journey and go down there and slay those dragons? Do I have to go alone? If you have someone who can help you, that's fine, too. But uh, ultimately, the last trick has to be done by you.